Let me see my kind of cheese. Oh, I was just saying, nice. 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 <laughs> All right, homemade food punch, water. Calories, sister calories, food punch. I'll take that for water. That's it. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Oh, yeah. that's a good one. Yeah. Blue juice or food punch? Blue juice. Blue juice for sure. <laughs> Okay, we'll just pop it together. <laughs> <laughs> All right. How y'all feel about that? How y'all feel? Right? You full? You full? I'm sorry. Now y'all hungry? Sorry for that. <laughs> that wasn't the intention behind the breakup, but uh, some people got hungry. Some people got full. Nice. Today's topic is the power of true worship. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now I love our service and I just love God. Because the way the service went today, the topic is just fitting for the service today. Hallelujah. The topic, the power of worship. No. The power of true worship. We not mix that up. The power of true worship. And I didn't get a scripture with it, but I kind of want to reference some stuff. So you work with me, and um, you know, just turn your Bibles real quick. If you have one, if you don't, you turn your phone. You know, modern day, how are you doing? To John four twenty three. To 24. Yeah? John 4. John 4, yeah. John 4. You want to go there? And I'm going to be. And uh, honestly, I don't have to speak long. Thank the Lord. Because all you guys, testimonies, were like a sermon. <laughs> <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And I know y'all got a word today, and I don't want to put too much on you that you can't take home from your fellow brethren. Hallelujah. Amen. So I'm gonna go. I'm gonna chop where I'm chopping because I want you guys to understand that a word was given today. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But the combination, the combos of you guys' testimonies, yeah, it just puts my job to put the icing on the cake. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Let me quick. Alright, everybody follow? Amen. 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 It says, But the hour cometh, and now is, when the true worshippers shall worship the Father in spirit and in truth. For, for the Father seeketh such to worship him. God is a spirit, and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. Hallelujah. 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 We're going to move on to Mark 12. Mark 12, verse 30. What is found? And it says, And thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart. And with all thy soul, and with all thy mind, and with all thy strength, this is the first commandment. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Okay, okay. All aboard? Yeah, take a seat. Come on. All right, guys. So in reading those two um, scriptures, verses, from 1 into 23 and 24, and then Mark 12, 30, it's clear to me. And I'm getting this from the Mark 12, 30. It's clear that true worship requires all of us. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God is not interested in half-hearted worshipers or commitment 
or partial obedience. He don't want no leftovers. See how I'm getting in now? All you guys mention foods that you like. Hallelujah. Mm. Some like mac, some like oxtail, some like salmon, some like some water, some like fruit punch. But I can say 90% who like curry. Somebody about to say curry. Who curry? Who curry up here? 90% of you guys, after you finish the meal, I guarantee you don't go back to fill that food. Oh, I do. 90%. You're eating it, eating it, eating it. Alright. After that, I'll not come back for that. Tomorrow or the next day, I get another meal. Some people like leftovers. I'm the type of person, my, my fiance knows this. I know it. I put food in the fridge and I just. Once it's there, I like to watch it twice. I left my father's soup or something. I eat that straight. You know? But food, I went in the fridge. I come back to that. I eat it once. My taste out of that. I don't want it again. It's something about a leftover that just leaves us lacking. It's lacking. It's not enough. It's something about leftovers that's just not enough for you. There's something about leftovers that when you leave it, you don't want to go back to it. I don't know what it is, but when you get leftovers, you feel like you don't feel like you're full enough. So you gotta go get build another plate. You wanna build another plate. You wanna put more. Alright, Thanksgiving coming up. Hallelujah. <laughs> <laughs> so this is my best time of the year, you know, because I, I, I turn my fire here and I put like. <laughs> My plate full! Yeah? My plate's going to be full. Guaranteed. Yes. Yes. But after you eat the plate on Thanksgiving Day, you don't go back to that same plate. You go back in the pan, the next day you get a whole another portion of food. Yes. There's something about that thing that you ate the day before and you left there that wasn't good enough to be warmed up again. Yeah? There's something about that type of food that you couldn't eat it two days in a row. You had to get more. There's something about God that he wants all of us. That means he doesn't want 20% of you. His true worship needs all of you. Every part of you. So that means 20% of you is not enough for God. 30% of you is not enough for God. 40% of you is not enough for God. True worshipers must give their all to God. Their all. Despite what happens, He wants your all. Hallelujah. 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 And I know, I want you to understand. So, true worship. And I want y'all to, to get a little nice little bit. What is true worship? True worship. It's more than us just singing. It's, just, it's more than us just clapping. It's more than us just, you know, coming in and showing up um, every Sunday. And then, and, then, and then during the week, we don't do anything else. I have the Bible app on my phone. Kind of slacked off a little bit, to be honest. Because I used to read, every morning I used to get up and read a scripture. I'm going to read a scripture. 
Now, I only do it like three days a week. I slacked off. What's the reason why we have all these gadgets, devices, and don't use it? Huh? Talk to me. Real worship involves what is said in Romans. Your body as an entire living sacrifice. Hallelujah. Entire living sacrifice. That's how I want you to understand. Your worship, your true worship, it can't be dead worship. It cannot be dead. You must volunteer yourself. And that's a that's a big word for people. Volunteering is hard. Remember, nobody's gonna be willing to do anything. They want everything, they need everything, they want it, they want that thing to be placed in them, but they ain't willing to do nothing for it. But God, He is a man that wants a living sacrifice. That means He wants somebody who is willing, willing to give Him His all. Are you willing to sacrifice it all? Are you willing to sacrifice your body? I want to say yes to you. You took a time in the hallelujah. You took a time. You took a time there and uh, took some time. You and you and you took time. And as I, look, I looked at the scripture and I looked at the topic, I started to make me think. Because you know how a teacher is. Mm -hmm. Started speaking. And I looked at the scripture, and I looked at the top, and I said, it's drawing me to living sacrifice. That means your worship, it has to be something that you want to put your all into it. You can't second guess when you want to do true worship. You can't doubt when you want to have true worship. Because your worship must be in spirit and it must be in truth. Uh -huh. In order for you to serve God, it must be in the right, true way. It's in spirit and in truth. And you're talking about, and that's why I love the when I come in the service and this testimony when I got to preach. Because people fall into my garden. And the topic is the power of true worship. And teacher Noria talked about finding your power. Power is an act. Power can fuel you. Power can direct you. Or also power can influence you. <clears throat> power can move you. Or things. But what is your power being used for? Because God made us in His image and likeness. So our power is already in us. You powerful. 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 You definitely powerful. But where are you putting your power into? Is your power going into true worship? Or is your power going into things that it has no need to go into? What is your power being used for? Can your power move mountains? Do you believe that? Can your power move mountains? Can your power influence? Can your power influence? Can your power direct? Can your power command something? What are you using your power for? Is your power able to 
establish and be an example for true worship? Does your power show an example of true worship? When you go into your job, you know, my people, I don't understand. I, 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 and that's why I love God. I go to work and I'm, I'm really myself. I'm really retarded. Oh, Lord, Jesus. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Power of my tongue. I'm, I'm, I'm not good up here. You know, I'm a little off. So I really go into work. And I don't care about people being there. My bosses are big bosses. I, I don't care. I, I go into work and I'm me. A hundred percent. And everybody can just tell you that. I'm, for some reason, I'm a reverend in the job. I don't understand where I get reverence from. But I'm in my job, I'm preaching to myself. I, my fiance knows I have a problem talking to myself. But I tell her all the time, I talk to myself, I'm seeking good advice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no. Is that it? Yeah. 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 That's what I tell her. I tell her all the time. I talk to myself, I'm seeking good advice. So, I have a problem with that. I preach it to myself and I, and, and and me as a spiritual Baptist, we have different things that we can have. Yeah. Uh, it's not me, I can start to grow. They, they yeah. want to walk right now with me. <laughs> <laughs> I tell that like good, I tell that like good. I start to grow. Mm -hmm. One of the important partners ask me, that's a song you singing? <laughs> I said, you don't want to go there. In my head, dude. <laughs> in my head, I didn't tell that uh, uh, thing, but in my head, I said, you don't even want to go there with me because right now I'm in a different place yes. <laughs> and I'm speaking that in my head. But I really told him, though, no. it's a song, yes, I'm groaning, but I'm okay. It's not wrong. But it's not like, he said, It's not like you're out of breath. <laughs> <laughs> I said, What? <laughs> I said, Sometimes in my head, I tell you, this is my head, I answer to him. In my head, because the way I want, I want to really answer him. I don't want to turn away. So I, I answer in my head. I said, <laughs> I said, sometimes it is sound like you're tired. Sometimes you're grown, just be tiring. Sometimes you're grown, just be tired. Sometimes you're grown, just be discerning. Sometimes you 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 grown, just send your atmosphere for the day. Yes, yes. When I was growing, I was trying to set up my my work environment. <laughs> but I tell the boy that I'm not out of breath. This is just how I praise God. He said, "All right, no problem." <laughs> you're gone. You're gone right anyway. He said, you just pray a lot. You just, you just praise God a lot. He said, no problem. I said, I just, I just do that. I have to do that. I don't know, but this person in my job, he was Eddie. He said, I'm going to be his pastor. Then you retire. You retire the next month. <laughs> I said, he, he, he tell me this. He said, he's retiring next month. And I'm going to be his pastor. I said to him, if I want to be a pastor, it is what it is. But I don't know what that is about. I said, if God wants me to be a pastor, it is what it is. I don't understand what my worship does for other people. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Stick with me. Come on now. I don't know what my worship could do for you or you or you. Neither do you know what your worship does for other people. Yes. But sometimes in your own atmosphere, yes. Worship, hallelujah. You can cause a reaction yes. of people. You can get a problem solved for someone. Yes. Mm. yes. You worship. True to how you worship. Mm -hmm. You don't know what could happen when you just worship by yourself. 
Yeah. Don't study who's there, nobody's there, or what's happening, or what's going on. Amen. You worship how you worship. Because you know who listening. <laughs> you don't know who's around. Yes. You don't understand what's going on. But your worship sometimes by yourself is the most powerful thing. Yes. Yes. Sure. And that's why I said power is an influence. But your true worship it is what can fuel other people. Yes. And I mean like mm -hmm. fuel, I mean like it, it, it's an energy. Yes, yes. Don't worry about what other people's going through or what whatever's going on and, and all that stuff. I love today. I want all of you guys to worship truly through your storms. And you can see the power of God. Yes. Mm -hmm. I don't care what's going on in your life. You worship through your storm. Because the power of God the power of God. The power of God. You don't know what can be fixed in your life. I don't care if you go through anything. You worship through your storm. I mean, give it all to God. Leave it in His hands. Leave it all to Him. Leave it all to Him. Because your true worship. Your true worship is what is going to be the difference between your problem being solved. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want to leave a little tip to you guys before I go because you guys have got a word today. True worship is putting value to it. Hallelujah. I want you to hear this. Putting value on your connection with God. That's true worship. Putting value on your worship with God. Yes. And when you put value on something, you yes. truly, I mean like truly put value on something. Yes. You want to protect it. Mm-hmm. You want to cherish it. Yes. You want to water it so it can grow. Yes. Hallelujah. 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 Yes. Hallelujah. 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 When you truly value something, it is the dearest thing to your heart. You are going to do whatever it takes to maintain it, to grow it. You're going to cherish it. You're going to protect it like it's nothing else. I want you guys worship, your true worship. I want you to guard it with your life. Don't let, I say it all the time. I claim my own atmosphere. I swear, I don't bother with people. I swear, I claim my own atmosphere. Because I believe the only person that can take energy from me is the person that gives it to me. And that's God. Mm -hmm. I swear to you, I claim my atmosphere. My worship, my worship has been Him. I want all you guys to understand that. When you value something, you protect it with your life. Don't let anybody disturb your atmosphere. You claim your tomorrow, you claim your today, and you worship because God deserves nothing less. He is he's worth every step that you take. I love today, before we came today, before I even came up, I want to give a round of applause to my fiance. Praise the Lord. She, she embodied true worship. 
she brought two people that she's seen that are interested in God and she worshiped with them. She brought brethren around and she worshiped with them. She brought two people up, happily brought them up. Now what's going on? Sometimes you just pull, pull somebody out and worship with them. Pull somebody out and worship with them. Hallelujah. 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 Today has been a mighty day. Ups, downs, forget about it. Forget about it. Forget about it. Put all your trust in God. Worship Him in spirit and in truth. Find your true power and worship with that. Believe that your worship is valuable and protect that. Believe that your worship can move mountains. Believe that. That your worship is powerful enough to influence somebody. I want you guys to stay humble. Stay beautiful, stay handsome. I will. Give up when God gives up. It's my catch. Give up when God gives up. But the catch to that is, God will never give up. Thank you.